Muy buenos días con todos. Muchísimas gracias por acompañarnos en este webinar de Eco el Futuro con EIT en Energy. Estamos hoy día acompañados de Ana Casaiva. Ella es representante de esta maravillosa institución con la cual tenemos un convenio. Para recordarles el convenio que tenemos con esta institución, si es que son seleccionados para el programa de crédito beca, es de una beca de 5 mil euros para el valor de la matrícula. Entonces, la verdad es una oportunidad maravillosa. Como saben, para el programa de crédito beca, ustedes tienen que postularse a la convocatoria que abre el 10 de enero. Cogemos aplicaciones hasta el 28 de febrero y los resultados salen el 11 de mayo. Si quieren más información sobre el programa crédito beca, los invito a que entren a colfuturo.org, hagan clic en programas, luego hagan clic en programa crédito beca y ahí estará toda la información. Por favor, cualquier pregunta que tengan mientras Ana da su charla, escríbanles en el chat y al final vamos a ir por todas las preguntas. Entonces, si tienen cualquier duda, con mucho gusto eh, las pueden escribir en el chat. And with no, um, no more introductions needed, Ana, welcome. Thank you so much for hosting this webinar with Col Futuro. The floor is yours and thanks again. Super. Thank you so much, Bianca. So, hi, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so, uh, my name is Anna, as Bianca has mentioned. I work for EIT No Energy, and I'm based in our office here in Stockholm. Uh, so, for my role, I look after marketing for EIT No Energy Master School. And um, what I thought we could do today is I could give you a bit of an introduction of uh, what it is AIT in energy, what it's like to study with us, um, and hopefully you'll get a bit of a taste of what it's like being a student at AIT in energy. So uh, to start off, I have prepared a, a short video. Let me just see if I can manage to play it. Um, and this is just a, uh, a video first to kind of uh, introduce you to the company because I think once I introduce you to the company Atino Energy, it will become a little bit clear how Master School is set up as well. So, uh, Bianca, just let me know if it's not playing or if you can. Entrepreneurs with investors. I. The audio is fine. We are the leading engine for innovation and entrepreneurship in sustainable energy. Accelerating carbon neutrality to reach our 2050 targets, we operate at the center of the energy transition. We bring together innovators with industry. In one place, we can have access to 160 startups coming from all over Europe and demonstrating their technologies. Entrepreneurs with investors. I encounter uh, some of the most interesting tech companies uh, in Europe. They are chosen by InnoEnergy, which is a very important quality stamp. And graduates with employees. I really wanted to implement the skills that I learned during my master's in InnoEnergy, and I found this great opportunity in Tesla. We are decarbonizing Europe by leading its industrial value chains, supporting Europe's industrial strategy to empower a sustainable energy future. We are European, providing solutions to global problems. The technologies developed are expected to generate 73 billion euros of revenue, saving 9.1 billion in energy costs and 1.1 gigatons in carbon dioxide. EIT Inno Energy is on a journey, and we are delivering. Join us. Perfect. So this was just a short introduction into the company. And now uh, let me just go to the next slide to summarize a little bit about EIT Inno Energy as a company. So uh, just some of the key facts about EIT Inno Energy, because as I said, um, it will make it easier for you to understand the way the master school is set up. And also hopefully it will uh, help you to understand how you can benefit from EIT Inno Energy while you're studying with us. Um, so today, EIT Inno Energy is the largest accelerator for sustainable energy in Europe. Uh, we currently have a network of uh, 500 plus partners across Europe, and we also opened up an office in US recently in Boston. So we are gradually expanding outside of the EU. 
Um, we involved in every stage of innovation process. Uh, essentially, what this means is that uh, we invest in uh, people. So we invest in students like yourselves. We invest in businesses. So we invest in uh, external startups, in our student startups. Uh, we work with projects and we help to deliver them to the market. Um, and we also work with big industry players in Europe. Um, so uh, some of these industry players are also our partners and shareholders. Um, here are listed just a few of those uh, at the bottom of the slide. Um, and uh, what it means is it creates this uh, huge network of energy companies, uh, companies that work within the energy field, uh, consulting companies. And um, this allows our students to benefit from this while they're studying with us, of course, for future career opportunities. Um, now, um, the other very unique position that EIT Inno Energy is in is that ever since its establishment, uh, it's been supported by EIT. That's the EIT that you see in EIT Inno Energy. Um, now, EIT stands for European Institute of Innovation and Technology. It's an official body of European Union. And essentially, we have been created by the European Union, so they have other initiatives within other areas. Ours is focused on energy, and our sole mission is to drive energy transition on the continent. Uh, and this is exactly why we're involved in so many different areas, including education that we'll talk about in a minute. Um, so just now i just mentioned um uh, you know the the scope but just to give you a little bit of a better picture of how we spread out so uh what you'll see is we have offices uh, dotted across europe and i mentioned the office in us as well now recently that has been opened now when you will study with atino energy you will also see that our universities are dotted across europe as well um, and normally what will happen is you find uh, our offices located in the same countries, usually same cities as well, where you'll be studying too. Uh, and then, of course, you will see our partners. So I already listed some industry partners uh, in the previous slide. We also have education partners. So we have uh, universities where you will be studying, but we also have partners who will work on research uh, and development. Um, so uh, as I mentioned again, the network is just huge at the moment. <laughs> Um, now, um, it's all great that we have these startups, you know, and we have these products that we help to deliver to the market, uh, but uh, if we can't achieve anything with it, uh, it's no good. So we're really impact focused at the moment. And uh, just to provide you with a little bit of um, background on um, the results that we have achieved over the years. So um, currently, AT New Energy has uh free unicorns that it has created uh so one of uh, one of those unicorns is uh actually located here in sweden uh so we participated in the creation uh the unicorn is Norfolk. it's a huge gigafactory and today it's valued uh just over 12 billion uh us dollars and um, we also have five centaurs uh, and uh, those are the companies with valuation of a hundred million dollars and then uh, we actually also have a few ponies as well which is uh, uh, several companies with valuation over 10 million dollars um, and then of course what are we doing this for so we're doing it to uh, save the co2 emissions to reduce them um, and uh, Currently, here you can see the amount of the emissions that already have been expected to be saved by our company, so by our startups in our portfolio. Um, and uh, so a colleague of mine, they did a bit of a math, and essentially they told me this is an equivalent of 245 million cars off the road, which is a huge uh, impact. Um, now, um, we involved in startups, we involved in uh, industry, um, but we also involved in uh, value chains. So we also have several projects which are um, uh, site projects, uh, but their own initiatives uh, 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 
in green hydrogen batteries and PVs. Um, this is good for our students to know as well, because uh, obviously, as you start your masters, uh, you might have uh, you might start with the general overview, and then you might wish to specialize in a particular subject. Uh, green hydrogen is becoming a very popular subject as well. So there's also something for you to go into after you graduate. So uh, you don't necessarily need to join the industry or uh, need to join a startup. You can actually go and work within one of our value chains as well. Um, and then, of course, uh, the terawatt uh, hours that have been generated uh, with uh, clean energy sources uh, that we also listed here. And again, it's just all there just to provide you a bit of a picture, a bit of a picture of the scope uh, and the impact that EIT Inner Energy has currently created. Um, now, um, jumping into the education. So we talked a little bit about the corporate side of the business, but of course, uh, for you, the most interesting side would be the education side, how the education is set up. Um, so at the moment, AIT New Energy has several technical universities. Uh, these are top universities in their respective countries. Um, if you're familiar with any of these universities, then I would say you already know EIT No Energy because this is actually the locations where you would be studying uh, when you join us. Um, you will also find uh, uh, a business school here. So we have an Asadi business school and we have, uh, which is the last, uh, Unternehmertum, which I always struggle a little bit to pronounce the German pronunciation on my right on my side, uh, but essentially it's TU Munich Acceleration Center as well. Um, so why you find them here is because apart from uh, the technical knowledge that you'll be receiving, we also find it's very important to provide our students with business skills, entrepreneurial skills, uh, and hence why apart from technical universities from which you'll be getting your degrees from, you will also have access to uh, these um, uh, business school, the startup accelerators. Uh, so uh, then you can create your own products and hopefully deliver them to the markets as well. Um, now, um, what I will do, I think um, here I just uh, listed um, our programs that are currently available. Um, because we don't have a lot of time, I will not go into every single program. Uh, but what I will do is uh, perhaps I will describe to you a journey of one of the programs in the following slides. And hopefully this will give you a bit of an idea how the rest of the programs are set up. Um, if I had to provide a short overview about each program, a little bit about what makes it unique, um, I would say for sustainable energy systems, which is the first program, it's really for the students who want a hands-on approach uh, when they start. Uh, reason being is that for this program, students uh, get to participate in something called Project of the Year. Uh, what is Project of the Year? Project of the Year is when you and other students get put in a group. So uh, you will be working with the students uh, of EIT New Energy, but also who are located at different universities because that's how real world operates. You're not necessarily always in one location. Um, and you'll be wor uh, working on tackling solutions, uh, finding solutions, uh, sorry, tackling challenges, finding solutions to various challenges, um, which are either set up by NGOs, local councils, uh, again, industry. Uh, perhaps it's also a challenge that uh, was uh, sourced by you because it's something that you find uh, is very important to you as well. Um, and uh, why I say hands on is because students start working at it more or less straight away. Uh, they get to travel, they actually get to um, install equipment uh, and uh, uh, run it a little bit like their own startup in a way. Um, energy Technologies is the program that's very popular with students because it's the only program that takes place in Germany, I would say. Um, and Germany is a very popular destination for many students coming to Europe. Um, it's also a modular program. So just like the previous program, Sustainable Energy Systems provides you an overview of uh, renewables and then you get to specialize. Um, this is also a case for many of our programs, by the way. So you usually get an overview and then you specialize um, in uh, towards the end of the year in your second year as well. But for energy technologies, um, because it's a modular program, you really get to design your own um, uh, your own path. So it's not as much as you know, you have uh, um, compulsory courses that you have to take and very few uh, courses that you can select, uh, which are uh, available for you to actually to choose from. Um, so you really design your own journey and uh, you do this with a program coordinator. So it's really tailored to you and to your interest and the path that you want to follow. 
Um, now, renewable energy is by far the most popular program that EIT No Energy offers. Um, this is the program where students spend the most hours at SRD Business School, essentially getting like a mini M MBA level training. Um, and um, um, this is one of the main reasons why it's such a popular program, because a lot of student startups have been born out of SRD Business School after they've been visiting it. Um, energy for smart cities, um, uh, more or less self-explanatory, is for anyone who is interested in creating smarter, more sustainable, um, uh, more sustainable cities, um, and everything that has to do with the mobility, uh, in particular. So, could be very interesting for electrical engineers, I would say. Um, then we jump into smart electrical networks and systems. Um, if you're into smart grids, this is a perfect program for you. Um, if you're not a fan of smart grids, there's no problem. Again, um, it's more of an electrical engineering program. So there's various other uh, areas that you can go into um, uh, once you start on this program. So you don't need to specialize just in smart grids. Um, energy storage is the most recent program we introduced. Um, reason why we introduced it is because we've been, uh, we're actually very much involved in energy storage in Europe. Um, so one of our, um, value chains initiatives as i mentioned to you is with storage uh as well and we have something called european battery alliance this is a huge battery alliance that we're leading in europe um and actually it's something the us is more or less copy pasting as well at the moment because uh they find their work so well um and um we received a big sign that energy storage is becoming you know a key issue uh hence why we launched this program and um this program is actually taking place in Alto, which is Finland, uh, which is not the place many people would consider for maybe a sustainable energy uh, degree, but it's an excellent location specifically for batteries. For those of you interested in batteries, they have a huge industry there and uh, huge potential as well. Um, and of course, last but not least is nuclear energy. Uh, so uh, I know uh, uh it's I, I would say it's like pretty self-explanatory so uh we need nuclear energy currently to transition uh it's been recently been labeled as well by the european union um uh and uh the program takes place in france and the un uh, mainly the universities of the program located in france however of course you will be in two different countries but i would say the uniqueness of this program for the nuclear engineers uh is that you really get access to the facilities uh to nuclear facilities that you would normally get the access to um and uh particularly in france uh the uh, professors who uh, you will be receiving the degrees from who will be teaching you uh usually those are industry representatives so um it's not the same in every country but in france in particular it's usually people coming from the industry which helps with internships and uh, career as well after graduation um now the program has selected the sustainable energy systems um uh and i will walk you a little bit how it works when you join AIT no energy so firstly like one of the uh, maybe biggest confusions that i find the students have when we have a conversation about the master school is that they get a little bit confused like do i study with you know energy or do i study at the like with the university like who issues my degree certificate to me um so the setup uh, is provided by Inno Energy. We're not an agent, it's just a European uh, setup that has been created. Uh, the universities are actually our shareholders, uh, 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 many of these, and our partners. Uh, but when you will be studying, you will be studying at these universities. It's just instead of going to one university, you will be going to two universities and receiving a degree from two locations instead of one, which uh, you wouldn't be able to get the setup maybe on your own in the same way. Um, so to start off, for example, you will have a choice of universities that you want to go for your first year. Here I selected KTH Royal Institute of Technology, uh, not only because I'm myself located in Sweden currently, but uh, because it is one of our most popular locations for students to study. Um, Sweden is an excellent place to learn about sustainable energy and uh, in general, uh, I would say clean tech related, uh, anything is a, uh, Sweden would be a good destination for you. And so what happens? Uh, so you join the university, uh, you receive a welcome admissions, uh, admissions letter, welcome letter to the university, you arrive, you officially enrolled as a KTH uh, student, and of course you will benefit from 
all the activities that KTH students will benefit from. But as an inner energy student, you will have additional activities that you will be able to benefit from as well. Now, um, some activities are general activities, so they are open to all the students in all the programs, so all the programs participate in them, whereas other activities that you'll be involved in are particular to your program. Uh, and this is, of course, makes sense because uh, they need to be relatable to your program. Uh, maybe it's not that interesting for someone who's interested in solar uh, to go to visit nuclear facilities, for example. And so as you arrive, uh, you will also have something uh, which is called community welcome activities. Community is our own student network. I kind of call it a LinkedIn of our students, if I can, uh, if you can imagine it. So all our students who join Inner Energy are on this network. Uh, this is where we run our job boards. This is where our career center uh, communicates with our students. Uh, this is where students communicate with each other as well, the alumni. Um, so they will have a welcome activity to welcome you to your university location. Uh, and this will also give you an opportunity to mingle with hopefully alumni, uh, second year students uh, at the university um, and uh, uh, anyone else who uh, is also invited by the students and alumni to this activity. Sometimes they bring industry speakers as well. Now, um, I mentioned to you briefly um, Career Center just now, uh, where I said the Career Center also communicates with uh, our students for the community, so uh, uh, the community portal that which we have. Now, um, uh, every university that you will go to will have their Career Center. As you know, universities have huge intakes, um, so um, uh, perhaps if there's like uh, job boards that are running, maybe uh, you know there's a big competition going for these positions. Inno Energy has also its own Career Center. For the students so you can also use our career center uh, uh, that we um, support students with our intake is much smaller than the university intake and uh, the career center offers uh, various activities so i mentioned the career center uh, has a job board where they post um, internship uh, thesis opportunities and career opportunities from our partners um, they also run something called Career Impact Program. Uh, this is not a compulsory program, it's entirely like it's voluntary, you can take it or leave it. Um, but what it is, is essentially it's a 12 month uh, professional development journey, as I uh, have wrote it here. And um, again, we think it's really important to communicate with industry. So you hear me say industry probably a lot throughout this presentation. Um, and what you do is you get coached uh, from industry and it's really focused on maybe more soft skills, I would say. So kind of working out your strengths, your weaknesses, how do you use your strengths in the future? How do you overcome your weaknesses? Um, and what I hear from students is it's something they were not maybe so um, excited about when I was telling them about this, uh, but it's something they really enjoyed while they were doing it. Um, and last year we had a webinar with a student as well and she actually told me her industry coach recommended her for the position after she graduated. So uh, it's also again another way to network and to hopefully secure the right career for you after you graduate. And um, uh, the general activities that are open for all AIT no energy students that I also mentioned is one of these activities is uh, our digitalization uh, courses. So um, Again, introduced actually very recently, uh, only last year, uh, we believe digitalization is key uh, to transition to cleaner uh, alternative uh, energy sources. So there's several courses that are available for students to take. Uh, you can take these courses either in first year or second year. Um, again, you take them in your own time. Uh, the courses are not compulsory. It's just an added bonus that's available there for you to take. And uh, uh, it's something that hopefully you can benefit from as well. Just uh, extra knowledge for you while you're studying with us. Um, uh, now, throughout your first year as well, uh, you will join something called uh, Master School Connect. It's a key event. It usually takes place, obviously, in one location in Europe. Um, 
uh, previously it was held in Stockholm. If you're not located in Stockholm or in the place where the event will take place uh, during the year that you'll be studying this year, uh, then uh, what will happen is you'll be flown by AT No Energy to, this, uh, to the location of the event, you will stay there. And the event is really for you to meet all the students for, uh, of the different programs, but also students of your program who might be studying at different universities. So, uh, uh, I mentioned uh, earlier the project of the year where you've been working different groups, one of the programs. Uh, I think it's nice to meet people face to face as well. And the event is usually a two day event. It includes um, uh, various uh, speakers. So, you know, energy speakers, speakers from, uh, again, from businesses, uh, career fair, um, uh, some training exercises, uh, and of course, just like fun activities to also, uh, you know, break the ice when you meet everyone as well. And uh, now uh, you will also have various field trips. So uh, uh, it could be trips. Uh, it could be trips, for example. Um, of course, I mentioned the nuclear for nuclear trips to the facilities, but for example, for our programs, energy technologies, which is the modular program I mentioned to you, students travel to Azores Islands in um, Portugal and they learn about sustainable energy solutions there. So there's, again, these added activities, they vary for program. Uh, I think for smart cities, students go to um, uh, smart cities week in Barcelona. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and then essentially, uh, uh, you would just need to check uh, per program which activity you'll be involved in. So this is more or less your first year. Um, and then um, what will normally happen is uh, for Master Sustainable Energy Systems, the year will finish with the Sade Business School. Uh, so uh, all students from all the universities will travel to Sade and you will stay there uh, to study. Um, uh, again, Asade is, um, uh, Asade is an option for most of our programs. Uh, for Masters of Renewable Energy, you'll get the most hours in Asade. I would say it's the most heavy program that's focused on Asade Business School. Uh, but uh, most of our programs offer it. It just uh, takes time at different uh, weeks. And um, sometimes you will return to the Asade Business School, so you don't only go there once. Uh, so something to keep in mind as well for summer because you're most likely going to be very busy uh, between your year one and year two. Um, now, uh, you finished year one, you're now uh, starting your year two. So for EIT No Energy, you actually have to change university. You can't stay in the same university for both years. Um, and there's no option for you to stay in the same country for both years. Uh, for us, mobility is very important. It's important that you learn things from different cultures, how it's done in different countries. Uh, so. Uh, it's uh, it's vital that all our students change year for uh, change universities from year one to year two. Uh, here I select the TU Eindhoven. It's a university in the Netherlands. Um, again, you will have an option of the university to select, and the options are slightly different depending on the program, uh, but you can find them all on our website. Um, what happens normally at the beginning of the year for year two? So, uh, of course, you arrive to university, you have all the welcome sessions like you would normally have in year one with the university uh, and all the activities with the university that they have scheduled. Um, you will have again those welcome community activities as well. But then something different happens also for year two students. So um, Inno Energy has a flagship event that takes place every year. It's called the Business Booster. So it's a huge uh, industry event. It's not uh, it's not a student event. So it's uh, it's really an event from our corporate side of the business. And um, what happens is that Inno Energy uh, selects several students from the programs. I think usually it's done by the recommendation by your program coordinator and director. And then students also get to join the event uh, where they support our startups who are exhibiting at the event. So you get to work with the startups. Again, you get to network. Uh, well, you get to travel as well, and uh, it's just a, it's just also a fun event to attend to. So again, everything and uh, not just the boosting the business, but also boosting your career as well. And um, now uh, we also offer um, something called Battle of Green Talent. So it's an entrepreneurship competition that also starts with students in year two um most of you know students uh in like participate in it um 
and uh, essentially kind of runs like a challenge, like you run your own, uh, like you're kind of running your own startup. Uh, the winners get a monetary prize and they also get support from Inno Energy business side of the business, um, uh, corporate side of the business, excuse me, um, to uh, support uh, your startup. So, uh, uh, so it's not just, you know, you won and that's it, we're going to drop it. So you actually get extra support from Inno Energy as a company as well going forward. Now, what's important to remember as well is that, um, and actually very important, I think, to remember for students when they're choosing their year two university. So um, a lot of times I hear that students get a bit stressed because they want to uh, graduate from the year two university where they want to find employment after they graduate. Which is a fair, which is a fair point as well, because especially for non-EU students, the, you know, you might have various visa issues. So it's nice to be in a country where you studied for your second year. Um, however, you have to remember that uh, for second year, uh, you don't actually spend as much time at the university because your second year is very much thesis uh, focused, and Inno Energy encourages all students to be in the internship during the thesis, and it's kind of a norm for students to be with an internship during the thesis, which is why we push so many industry activities on you during your first year as well. Um, so you won't actually uh, be within the university for a very long time during your first, uh, during your second year, excuse me. Um, and you can do your thesis essentially anywhere. So yeah, you can do it anywhere in Europe. I had students do it like in Singapore, um, uh, traveling around. So really like the world is your oyster. Um, and that kind of helps uh, students also to um, discover other options in the countries that maybe they never considered about uh, pursuing the career in. Um, and also uh, that can also help you with maybe um, uh, visa support as well afterwards, uh, because say if you secure the thesis in the company, in a good company for uh, with an internship, that it's possible that they will also employ you afterwards um, uh, for this. So you don't necessarily need to stay in the country where you uh, graduated in your year two. Um, we also uh, run something called career impact challenges during uh, uh, European, uh, it used to be called European Utility Week, now it's called Enlit Europe. It's a big um, energy event in Europe. It takes place in different locations in Europe every year. And this is an event organized by our career center. So students get to attend this event, uh, meet the stakeholders, um, and uh, we love challenges. So it's all about industry challenges because our students also love solving those challenges. So uh, actually uh, they, uh, they get to solve the challenges prior to the event, and then they get to present the solution during the event. So they go on stage and they present the solutions which again uh, an excellent opportunity to uh, hopefully meet your future, uh, future employer um again uh community events during your second year so community is super important i mean this is the student our, our key student network um it's also something uh, somewhere where you can actually interact with uh, with students if you have an idea if you just yeah if you just want to bounce off ideas of each other um i also advertise students to use community when you're looking for accommodation because as you're moving to year two location of the university a student from year two might be moving to another location uh, so it's also a good place to, uh, I think, for accommodation hunting from uh, previous you know, energy students as well. Um, um, and then, of course, um, uh, you know, you will have a graduation ceremony uh, with your university. So each university have their own graduation ceremony. But you know, energy, we also would like to have our own graduation ceremony for you guys. So uh, again, it jumps around between different locations. And normally it's the university locations. So uh, this year, I believe the graduation ceremony will take place in Italy, in Torino. So all the students will be traveling there. And it's just, you know, a well, like a last Farage, just a well-deserved celebration for all your efforts and hard work during the two years as well. Um, and then after you graduate from eighteen or energy, so um, you will receive the double masters that we discussed. So you receive a degree from each of the universities that you have attended. Um, you can find exact degree titles on each of our program pages um, if you go on our website. Um, and also, I asked Career Center to provide some statistics to me. You know, what, what can life look after you graduate from eighteen or energy? Uh, so they shared some stats with me. Um, um, so here I listed some uh, common job titles that students go into. Um, 
just to give you an idea that you know it's rather varied so you don't really have to be boxed in in a specific field i mean you know if you want to start your own business go for it if you want to become a consultant uh it's an ops also an option so uh, people go to various fields after they graduate um 94 of the students employed within six months after graduation uh of course most students uh already have some connections or um they uh may be already securing employment with an internship um the majority of students tend to remain in europe at least uh for a short while uh i know a lot of students would like to get some experience and then maybe uh, they'd like to go back home and maybe take away that experience as well um and here i have the split of countries where students tend to be employed um, the reason why i put the countries where students get employed because um we have several universities in france where students study uh, sweden is our pop most popular university location uh, because it's available for all the programs um i mentioned to you germany uh, only has one program uh, that takes place there but yet uh, it seems to be the most popular country where students get the employment afterwards and it's just again to show you that just because uh, you graduated from one country doesn't mean that you can't secure a job in another country uh, in Europe. And actually, most of our students are rather mobile. So, um, you know, they might graduate from Sweden and then have a job in Norway or something like that. So um, you can also have a look on our LinkedIn and see where people tend to end up because we have our graduates on LinkedIn as well. And, and of course, startups. So entrepreneurial aspect is huge within the company. Um, we have 12% of our student, uh, well, not students, graduates now who have their own startups. Um, we have five uh, people in Forbes 30 on the 30 as well. Um, uh, for various programs, uh, you know, nuclear, uh, nuclear energy technologies, uh, sustainable energy systems. So you can also have a look on our website for it. And then I also listed top employees of our graduates here and top companies providing internships. Now, I've listed them for you because if you join the program, I think it's nice to already kind of have this in mind of the companies who like to, you know, hire our graduates uh, and our students uh, for internships. Um, some of these obviously like huge names, you know, like Deloitte, everyone knows who, what Deloitte is. Uh, some are more maybe um, local players. So I mentioned Northfold, like a huge gigafactory in Sweden. Um, we also have Vattenfall, which is a company here in Sweden. Um, uh, EDF in France. So it's good to have a look and um, uh, see if these might be interesting for you. Um, and just so I don't ramble on too much, I would like to just jump into application process as well. Now, um, the application process, so there are um, general requirements. So just general requirements that apply to all our students. And then depending on which program you want to study, there's program specific requirements, because of course, maybe for um, someone who's interested in um, smart electrical networks and systems, electrical engineering might be more important than maybe uh, chemistry, for example. Um, so you need to check the general requirements. Here's the um, main academic background that we look for our students so it's uh, energy engineering normally uh, backgrounds like uh, electrical mechanical etc um uh, then we look for good gpa uh, academic score again depends slightly on the program because you have to remember that you're applying also to different universities and all the universities have kind of like their own requirements they like to um, have as well so that's why each program has the, a little bit of variation in it um, uh, English proficiency, so we uh, have uh, TOEFL, IELTS, um, there's a huge section uh, for English proficiency on our website, there's also some other options for English, uh, for English proficiency uh, questions, uh, so please have a look, but I would say this is the, the main takeaway that I've listed here. Um, the university reputation is super important, um, we have students from all over the world, we normally know the universities, um, uh, the uh, pro provide good students, if, uh, if I can say so, and uh, we receive a lot, a lot of students with corporate So um, uh, we normally know that the level of students is very good. Um, then we have, uh, of course, it's important for us to to see that you're interested in innovation, entrepreneurship. You know, we just want to see that um, why you want to study uh, with us, uh, what you want to get out of it. Um, 
how you want to change the industry. You know, for us, it's all about changing the industry, you know, and the energy transition. And of course, we have motivation letter. Um, for some programs, we have motivation video. Um, if you have any questions about the motivation letter, motivation video, um, because maybe uh, some of it is a bit odd uh, to you or you're not used to creating those, um, we actually have student ambassadors on the website. So uh, these guys have volunteered to ask, answer uh, questions throughout the year from students. We have students from all over the, uh, the world. Um, and I would say they're good ones to ask about this because hopefully they can give you some pointers on um, kind of thing that maybe they submitted. So it gives you a bit of an idea of what worked out. Um, we also um, operate an application date. So um, what does this mean? It means that um, we started the applications now, we will close the applications on 6th of November, uh, and the, uh, the applications will be sent to the universities, they will be reviewing them, and then you'll be receiving your results later on within the year. Uh, then if you want to apply, you will have to wait again till 14th of November. Uh, so you'll have a gap between 14th of November till 22nd of January to apply again, and so on. Um, why are the rounds important is because as you're going to be applying throughout the year, um, towards round four, round five, one programs might get filled up. So the popular programs might be starting to get filled up. And two, um, the university that you might want to um, join might no longer be available for uh, later in the year. So for example, um, in uh, Sweden, things are getting close, so I don't think they participate in round five anymore. So it's important to check the application rounds. Um, and also, I just invite all the students to apply in earlier rounds, because I think it gives you more chance of also securing a, a scholarship, if you're interested in securing a scholarship as well. Um, as you get reviewed towards the, the end of the line, uh, you know, uh, there might be less scholarships, for example. Um, then the um, funding. So uh, the participation fee for EIT in Renegade is 18,000 per academic year. Um, you don't have to pay anything to apply. I always tell students to apply to more than one program. So if you really want to join us, please apply to more than one program. Um, because your application is reviewed uh, by us and then we send it to the universities we send it to different universities one university might say the student is not quite right for us but the other university might really want to have you in the program so uh so it's just it happens because uh, it's different programs it's different people who are reviewing it so it's very i, I just think it maximizes your chances so uh, do apply to two programs. If you have been accepted and you want to essentially hold your spot, uh, we ask for a registration fee. So it's a non-refundable registration fee. Uh, essentially, you're holding your spot with us uh, uh, until you're uh, confirming and decided to come to the program. Um, we also have payments and installments available. Uh, we introduced this again uh, last year because uh, just to make it easier for the students uh, to fund their studies. Um, and we also have several scholarships available. Um, so we have Energy Impact Scholarship, uh, Diversity Inclusion Scholarship, and we have partial waivers uh, available for students as well, uh, which means essentially paying a discounted price. Um, and of course, we have the cooperation with Call Futuro. Uh, so uh, we uh, receive a lot of students with Call Futuro every year. So it's something that uh, we're very much aware of, and uh, Call Futuro also aware of us. So it makes it a bit easy as well for you. Um, now, just to sum up, okay, why join? Why join us, right? Um, so of course, the education. So the double masters, just an opportunity to spend only two years and after those two years have the double degree. I think it looks very good, it's prestigious on your resume, but it also gives you an opportunity to experience to different places, to different cultures. Um, experience of the European, and like of the, um, of the industry, you know, again, uh, things, the way things are done in Sweden is not exactly the same way things are done in maybe Spain. So I think it's very important to experience the way things are done in two different places. Um, skills that you require. Yes, you will acquire technical skills from the university. You will acquire business skills from business schools and various activities that we have scheduled for you. And of course, the digital skills, because we find this really, really important now going forward. Uh, network. So we're all about networking, all about uh, um, uh, 
you know, enlarging our network, uh, all about maintaining uh, contact with our students, with our alumni. So it's very common that our alumni present to our students that they hire students for internships uh, as well as positions. Um, so we're very proud that we have this like tight knit community within Europe. Um, and of course, it's all about just securing a right job for you because we find this is something that's most important to our students is uh, job security. Uh, you don't want to graduate and wondering still what you want to do. Uh, you want to either, you know, either join a big corporate, either go uh, to join within policy, uh, either start your own business and ideas. Uh, so yeah, the world's your oyster, whatever you want to do, we just want to make sure that you already have this in mind when you graduate. Um, and then I have just a short video um, because we talked about masters and sustainable energy systems. So I have a short video from uh, a little bit what the journey looks like because I talked a lot. So uh, maybe it's got a bit uh, lost after a while. So uh, let me just try and play it now. <laughs> Soy Andres. Ich bin Enzo. Sono Martina. We are from different places, but we decided to study in Barcelona, one of the most beautiful and exciting cities in Europe. A lively and diverse city, full of young people and full of history. During the EIT Inno Energy Masters, we study in a different university every year. EIT Inno Energy also organizes many activities all over Europe to meet students, alumni and industry. Like the Master School Connect in Stockholm. During the Connect event, we meet companies, alumni and experts. But we also have fun in the city. The Connect event has been fantastic, but now it's time to go to our next activity. So now we are going from Stockholm to Helsinki with all my select colleagues. <laughs> the Spring Seminar is part of our Master's program and it's organized in a different city every year. The EIT Energy Experience is very international. We get to live, study and travel across Europe. We meet incredible people as we build a strong industry connection. Will you also join, join us? us? Okay, so hopefully that gave a little bit more of an idea, a bit more of a taster. I also add some contact details here, um, so don't be thrown off by the UK number, this is just where our student advisors are based, they're based in UK and they're there to answer any questions that you might have, so you have their email here as well. Um, but otherwise, um, I'd be happy to take some questions from you, just maybe we can make it a little bit more interactive so I can answer the things that you're actually most interested in. Thank you so much, Anna, for this wonderful presentation. We do have a couple of questions. Um, one of them actually already got answered when you were talking about fees. They were asking about the application fee, but we all know now that there is no application fee. So let's go ahead and go to the next question. Um, this is actually a really good question. They are asking about the extra events that you were mentioning, the trips, the visits, the career impact um, mm -hmm. programs. Are those included in the cost per year or is that extra cost? Yeah, that's an excellent question. Sorry if I wasn't, um, I actually haven't mentioned it during the presentation. So the cost to travel to your year one university, um, the cost to travel to uh, uh, university in year two, so from year one to year two and then back home, those are not covered so you have to cover the cost to go to universities but the cost of all the trips yes they're covered so um the accommodation the food uh, that will be covered by the programs so each program has their own budget for the activities um, and hence why also activities differ a little bit and that's why i say check out um what you'll be involved in so you find something that suits you most because sometimes maybe um, the programs are not so different in terms of the uh, in terms of the curriculum that they cover because you know 
for most of them, you'll get the general overview of uh, sustainable energy, and then you'll specialize maybe in the subject, uh, maybe definitely in the subject. But uh, there are two other different universities, and uh, therefore the activities may be slightly different as well. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Anna. And then we have another question that came through social media, and they are asking what makes a strong candidate for these kinds of programs? What is the ideal student that EIT Inno Energy is looking for? Um, that's a great question. So, um, of course, I mentioned to you that, you know, um, uh, 18 Energy is looking for entrepreneurial aspects, for this kind of innovative aspect. But um, from speaking more and more to students, I, you know, not everyone is an entrepreneur, like not everyone uh, just has like uh, has been born an entrepreneur. Some people are just very good at doing the tasks that they're good at as well. So I think it's just um, if you don't want a traditional technical degree uh, and you want something a little bit different. Um, and I mean, the students are so different from all parts of the world and um, uh, you know, not everyone is like uh, someone is good at speaking, someone is good at some technical aspects, some is good at something else. So I think it's also like teamwork is very important for, you know, energy to know that you want to learn how to work in the team and want to work in the team as well. Um, and of course, the uh, the background. I mean, it, is there still a technical degree? Um, we have a lot, a lot of students from business schools who want to join us. Um, uh, every event we are, we have students from all sorts of business school who want to join. But it is a technical degree, so you do have to be, uh, you know, from the engineering background, from technical background as well. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Anna. So that concludes our questions and our presentation. A todos los que están conectados, muchísimas gracias por acompañarnos el día de hoy. Les recuerdo que para tomar beneficio de este maravilloso convenio que tenemos con EIT Inner Energy, pueden postularse a la convocatoria del programa Crédito Beca, la cual abre el 10 de enero. Toda la información puede ser encontrada en colfuturo.org. Luego hacen clic en programas, luego hacen clic en programa Crédito Beca y ahí están toda la información y los requisitos para que se postulen. Anna, thank you so much for this wonderful presentation. We really appreciate you taking the time, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you, Bye. everyone. Good to see you all in the next intake. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone.